Radio, it's nine o'clock and it's Wednesday the 6th of October 2021. A very, very good evening to you. Scotty McClure live with the internet phone in just for you saying dinky do. Welcome, welcome, welcome I say. So much to talk about tonight and so little time to do it in. Now, we're not really a political show as you know, so we don't go in for that. But I was thinking tonight, is there room for another party in Scotland? Just a thought. Excellent stuff. Tell us what you think about that. If you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome to our TikTokers. Welcome, TikTok. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky-doo. So much happening tonight. So little time to do it in as well. And welcome. We've got our super chat. We're live on Twitch. We're live on LinkedIn. We're live on Facebook. And we are, of course, live on YouTube. If you're on watching on YouTube right now, of course, subscribe and uh, tap the bell so that you'll always get the notifications as to when we go live. Very, very important. So there we have it. Now, let's just see what's happening here. I say to you, wonderful. So many uh, people come and join us on this wonderful phone in. People, did you like what I did there? So many people come and join us. Hello, says Thomas. Thomas Hamilton, think you do. And welcome on the TikTok. And welcome to everybody watching us right across the internet tonight. Fantastic stuff. Now, feel free to get to the phones at any time. You know how it works. Yes, indeed. And uh, we'll take your call. You've got the number there, 0141628-9795. 0141628-9795. Wonderful stuff. Feel free to give us a call and come and join us. Right, we're off to the telephones. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who is that? Hello, can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Hi, Scotty, it's Kareem. Ah, Kareem, excellent. How are you tonight? I'm not too bad. How are you, Scotty? Very well, yes, indeed. We've got a full moon tonight. No, a new moon tonight, I should say. The opposite of the full moon. Right. So that'll be interesting. I don't know if you're into astrology at all. I'm not I'm not too a, a big fan of that, but it's the only thing that I do know, it's a lot colder today. Oh, <laughs> listen, Kareem, I don't know about you, but I had ice on the windscreen this morning. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Yes, ice, right. ice on the windscreen. I've got somebody here. I've got Kai Zuko. On, uh, on the TikTok saying, Mr. McClure, may I inquire about your pronouns? And I'm just explaining to him we don't need to do any of that on here because we're all yep. inclusive. Yes, everybody yeah. is welcome. Everybody's welcome, so we don't need to know gender, pronouns, orientation, uh, you know, any of these things, really. Yeah, we're all equal here. <laughs> Absolutely, we are equal on Scotty's foot in. Fantastic. Now then, Karim, um, I'm sure you've got something to say tonight, but I also have something to say. And um, I was uh, watching telly earlier, and somebody was talking about an alternative party in Scotland to the uh, to the party at the moment in power. And I thought right. an alternative independence party. Now, is there room? for moving a little bit more to the right of centre from what we have already as an independence party? I think the the one, the party to watch is Alex Salmon's new party. Alba. The party. Yes. yes. Um, and I think there's, I, there's a lot of people, really good quality SN people have left and went to Alex Salmon's party. Now, the problem was, we won't go into the details, obviously no. stuff to go through the courts, but he couldn't have his party developed a lot earlier because of what was happening within the courts, etc. So yes, he wasn't allowed yes. to do that, as from what I, what I was reading. Yes, so we'll not, we'll not go near any of that, but no, no, it's interesting, no. what is it that's attracting people to other parties? Well, I know 
from because I'm a member of the SNP, but I'm also a member now of ALBA because I think the more independence parties we have, the better the cause. The better the um, chance of independence. Yes, and I think the. Um, Look out for the space when it comes to the council elections in May, Scotty. Uh -huh. I think you'll get a lot more councillors in to start off. And then after that, you'll definitely get at the next Scottish uh, Parliament elections, there will be more, there will be definitely MSPs through the door. They need time to build up like any new party. Yes, yes, of course. Absolutely. Just very, very interesting. I just thought to myself, you know, it would be quite interesting if you've got if the only alternative is a very right-wing party, then would it be better to have a party that is to the right but pro-independence? Well, would there be that if, you know, traditionally in Scotland not being centre-left, more left? More centre-left right? because we tend not to buy in, and I certainly don't, we tend not to buy into the class system. Now, I know you could counter that with saying, well, how come you're so big on the Queen? That's because she's the curator and custodian of the crown, and the crown is, yeah. our, is our symbol of authority. So that's purely as simple as that. Uh, but I don't buy, like most Scots, do not buy into the class system. Yeah. Just a quick note uh, to sidetrack, Scotty. That um, comment of yours that I cut and paste yes. a few days ago, I'm still, I'm, I'm not even reading the messages, but the absolute ignorance and stupidity from the people absolutely attacking <coughs> me from that message. Um, I thought, I'm not going to read that because at the end of the day, you're shooting yourselves in the foot, showing yourselves yeah. up. Yeah, I mean, it does look dreadful, but what's good is that we flushed a lot of these people out early before there's a referendum. So you can see where they're coming from. So you can say, we don't want the anti-monarchists, they're anti-Scottish, they're anti-independence, and they tend to be of low intelligence. Well, I think, I mean, I don't want to go into too much detail about this, but I, I do think that... Uh, it's good to educate. If I can be educated and change my views from when I was a teenager, then I think that can happen to anybody. I, th I think that, Kareem, education is right at the heart of the whole thing. I mean, looking at the facts, I mean, you know I do not have an agenda. I don't yes. have any axe to grind. I'm not even yes. political, but I do like to point out the facts. Now, what amuses me sometimes and exasperates is people arguing with the facts mm -hmm. because you can't yeah. actually argue with the facts. That's you know, it's I like, as, I, I think you maybe heard right. me use an example before. Was Winston Churchill a good prime minister? Yes or no? And the answer is going to be an opinion. Is Winston Churchill dead? Is he no longer with us? The answer is going to be a fact. Now, you will still get, it would be a half-wit that would say, no, he's not, he's still around. <laughs> Do you see? But some people, some of the people that you're encountering on there would still have a go at that. Oh, well, it's true, and it's it's quite annoying, but I think as long as we're getting the, the points out to educate and change people's views, um, I think that's the best way, um, and especially if they want independence, they're going to have to accept it. Um, my point, uh, Scott, I would quickly to uh, yes. earlier on, uh, it's about my two dogs. Yes. Uh, now, this morning I got up and take them out at half six and I tend to do that during the week when I'm working. And for some reason the foxes were still out. Now where I stay in Mearns, it's at Mearns Castle, you've got the massive fields. Yes. So I don't go in the fields, I walk down the side because it's light and uh, the dogs ran off today uh, because there was foxes. Uh -huh. So to cut the story short, they came back but then they went after the foxes again. I heard my Doberman howling there was a man standing inside the field. Now, this is pitch black. Uh -huh. um, and well, the point about the dogs was he started screaming over at me, you need to learn to control your dogs. Um, and my dogs are very well behaved. Yes. Now, they would have not barked to him unless if they felt threatened. And they wouldn't have bitten him anyway. I know he doesn't know that. But I thought, this is someone at half six in the morning has a massive field to just keep running, but decides to try and pick a fight. 
Mm-hmm. So I turned around and I said, I'm really not interested in anything that what you have to say. And he started screaming and shouting and said, no, no, you don't understand what I'm saying here. I'm not interested in what you have to say. Mm-hmm. And he kept going. I just started ignoring him. Uh, and he got the message and then he started jogging around again. Now, some people might have said I might, I might have been in the wrong. But, you know, I just thought, you know You're what? not in the wrong <laughs> at all. I mean, if your dogs are well controlled and under control, you know, you, 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 you know, they, they, they obviously, as you say, felt threatened. And you don't know what this guy might have done. He might have yeah. uh, threatened the dogs, you know, that sort of idea. Yeah. You don't know with people, Scotty. You know, there's some very sick people out there. Yes, yes, absolutely. No, 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 Kareem, you're certainly not in the wrong uh, you know, it's just that some people don't understand uh, uh, dogs. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I had a girl try to kick my dog. Now, my motor, my motor Well, that's what I was going to say. You've got to be very careful that a member of the public doesn't try and injure the dogs. Well, I never knew this, but there seems to be a rule. When I was in Edinburgh, cramming the beach, lovely place, and the my dog was walking. Now, you had cyclists, and the, the pavement there is huge. Now, she was nowhere near them. This girl crossed, crossed over and then tried to kick my dog. Uh, and obviously, I put on my, my broad Glaswegian accent with my yes. colleague from work. Uh, but she was obviously trying to provoke the dog to attack her, so yeah. that means the dog could have been taken away. Yeah. And I thought, hey, there should be a, a law against that. If you're antagonising, if that's the word, if you're trying to intimidate a dog into doing that, then I'm sorry, you're in the wrong, not yes. the dog. Absolutely. Absolutely. Top man. Kareem, I'm going to press on. And uh, lovely to hear you as always. I might do a second call. Well, you know call. you have that option. Thank you. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you, Dula. There we are. What a fine fellow. That's our Kareem, of course. Tremendous stuff. Now then, I've just returned from Edinburgh, sitting having a bite to eat, says Jerry. Excellent, Jerry. Uh, what have we got here? I was working, didn't get to the castle. Uh, no, the big hoose. Uh, the dogs can't be that controlled if they ran off, says Michael. Deary, deary me. You're live in Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hi, Scotty. How you doing? Hey, Glenn. Dinky do, la. Dinky do, Scotty. Now then, what's happening? Uh, Scotty, I, I listened to the beautiful lady talking last night about energy supplies. Uh, yes. At the end. Yes. 100% relate to what I think um, as customers where do we go? Where do you go? Well, this is it. Well, yeah. am I not right in thinking that a lot of the suppliers have said, look, just leave everything and it will get sorted out. You don't oh, need please. to do a thing. You believe that's guy? Well, I don't necessarily believe that, but I think it's better for them. I think they're protecting them sins. Yeah, you, you, Scotty, you tried to talk to him. You tried to, what's the word, negotiate with him. Yes. We can't do anything about it. Well, this is it's the like, problem. It, it's like, it's like you're talking to a big wall, literally, Scotty. Yep, absolutely. Well, this is this is the problem. I mean, they are going to look after themselves. They're you not know. looking after us, are they? No, well, of course not. I mean, you know, the, the company comes first, doesn't it? Yeah, obviously. Oh, sorry, we'll put you on hold for a few minutes. I'll put you on hold for half an hour. We'll speak to somebody higher up. Higher, higher oh, up did you get cut day. off? Sorry about that. Yeah, exactly. They're thinking, <laughs> you know. Uh, the call times are waiting. Yeah. We'll call you, instead of you hanging on hold, we'll call you back between 50 and 70 minutes. This is it. And then... And you go back into the system again, and then you're speaking to somebody else who don't even know what they're talking about. No, 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 that's the problem. And then we get to the situation that we don't know what we're talking about because we don't know what's happening. Exactly. So everybody's talking and nobody's listening. Precisely. Here's a guy here. Excuse me, Glenn. There's E. Russell says, hello from Russia. Do you know any Russian words? One word, yes, Previt. And another one I would say to you, Dosvidanya. So they were sorry, I was just telling he's come on TikTok and he's talking oh, Russian to me. Beautiful sky. So I just thought I'd give him a bit of Russian back. You, you know from the Russians, Scott, you know when you watch films, they always play the bad guys, don't they? Oh yes, yes, very, very good. 
Yeah, yeah very good at all that. I like I like it. It's very interesting. It's a very there's a lot of mystique about Russia. Definitely, yeah. With the what's the hats called now? What do they call the hats, Scotty? What they wear? What the all the hats? The um yeah. yes, yes, that's right. The uh, the Cossack hats. Beautiful hats, yeah. Lovely, lovely. Yes, absolutely. And of course, uh, you know, it's it's also interesting because they don't dance standing up, the Cossacks. Do they not? No, well, they do that uh, kneeling down and dancing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. That, I think they've got a great culture, to be honest. Beautiful. Definitely. You know, absolutely. Well, you know, I mean, I think obviously the West's very worried about communism because it's not a healthy political philosophy and it's not successful. Yeah. You know, and I can see that, but Russia itself is uh, apparently a very beautiful country. They've got a lot of characteristics about a good, good character about them, and they really, to be honest, all. The all what? What did you say, Glenn? Are. Sorry. All the Eastern European countries have got some amazing characteristics about them, really, aren't they? Oh, yes, yes, yeah, absolutely. Every Russia. country has. I mean, you know, when people say, "What's the best country?" You know, well, you've got you've got different. Uh, it's not to do with the best country. All countries are just a little bit different. Yeah, every country's got its own strength, on it? Its culture, yes, absolutely. And I think Russia is so vast; it goes from hot countries to frozen countries. And then they want to come. A lot of multicultural people want to come over here for the pouring rain, sky. Well, uh, yes, they like the rain and stuff like that, but, I mean, that's because you know the rain makes the place so green. I mean, you'll not get much more beautiful than Yorkshire, Scotland, yeah. Derbyshire, you know. And when you've, then when you've got us who have lived, lived over here all those lives, then we're going, oh, it's chucking it down. I'm chucking never, it down. I'm not never, going out never, today. Never, Dreadful day. You see, stop, it? well, it worries me when you get, you know, in Yorkshire and in Scotland, a lot of people go... Oh, it's such a dirty, filthy day I'm today. I'm not, not going out. I'm not going out in this weather. Yeah, I'm not going no, out in like, this. Like it's end up, like you it's say, end well, you're not like... going to be going out for about six months then. <laughs> exactly. <Mike. laughs> you know, that, I... Do you think that's a beautiful part of it, then, the rain as well? Then? Oh, yes. I mean, look at... I mean, the Lake District, it chucks it down. And yet you yeah. get a beautiful day in the Lake District. Ah, you're beside you yourself. Be... Beside you yourself, love. Get... Now, you've Glenn, I'm going to I'm going to have to dash off because they're all going Scotty, after you. Scotty, you've got the caves in Castle tonight, yeah. The, I've got the what? You've got the caves, aren't you? What, you can go up. Oh, know, beautiful. Please. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Although yeah. I wouldn't go caving. I'm not so keen on that idea. No, you have to pay to look under some of them caves, Scotty. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I fancy that. So there we go. What about the, this Barnsley? I know where you can climb that one as well, isn't there? Yeah, oh, beautiful. One of the loveliest I mean, countries I've been to is Singapore, says Pepe. Pepe you, on the think, TikTok. Scotty, do you think this um, Barnsley-Sheffield rivalry is a bit dark, really? Yeah, we need to put a stop to that. But you'll always wonder which is the more beautiful town, you know? You know, like, they're only next door to each other, really, aren't they? They are only next door, absolutely. I, but and, you try think, telling somebody from Barnsley that they're a Sheffielder. And vice versa. Sorry. And vice versa. Say, oh, you so, are, are you a Barnsley? That? No, no, we're, we're pure Sheffield, us. I, 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 don't, I don't come from there. Yeah, yeah I, I don't come anywhere near Scotty. there. Well, you don't want to be up there. Scotty, I don't want to come from there. You're yeah. Road, you're only, you're only. Your cousins, you're literally brothers and sisters, aren't you? Yeah, I doubt you're even 10 minutes nowadays. Yeah, yeah it's like. Come from Chapel Town, Highbury, and Barnsley, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. Is it Chapel Town? Oh, I wouldn't. I'm a Rotherham yeah. man. I wouldn't go near there. <laughs> what, about, what about Woodson, that down at Grenaside? Hey, Barnsley? Stocksbridge. I don't go near Stocksbridge. Stocks, Utterbridge. <laughs> Utterbridge. Lovely. Walk, Walkley. Walkley. We love it. Yeah. Hey. What's best chip it? What's the best chippy you've been to in Sheffield and Scotland? Now you're starting. I like the one at the top of the road as you're coming down to Dillsborough. Definitely, yeah. Uh, Beautiful. I'm going to have to dash, la. I'll see you, dinky do. Ta la la la. Thank you. Top man. That's our Glenn, dinky do. Now, uh, what a fine fellow I said to you. Uh, who have we got here? Uh, it's my visit. Uh, Suzanne, it's Sutherland, not Sunderland. 
Glenn is preparing to hibernate, says Michael. Dinky Doo, says Louise Sullivan, top DJ. Uta Bridge, absolutely. Do you know Uta Bridge? Lovely part of the world is Uta Bridge. That's it, fantastic. If you've just joined us, welcome to the internet phone in with me, Scotty McClue. Absolutely massive. Off to the telephones. We're live on Twitch and we're live on YouTube. What's happening here? You're live and Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello, Scotty. It's David. Tell me you your Oh, name. David, how are you doing? Dinky do. I'm rushed off my feet tonight. I've got them all on TikTok here. Brilliant. Fantastic. Yeah, Mr. Goatfish has did Mr. Goatface has just sent 17 <laughs> TikToks. I mean, that's great. I was listening last night. That was a really good night. Well, last night was a belter, David. That's right, including uh, I like the I like the, the women phoning in more. Than yes, women. about a phoning in about the power group and our wee friend that phoned in to say he was a bit down. Yeah, that's right. Your wee boy and I only right. I only had a minute with him. You know, I was quite upset that's that I'd only got a minute. It's very worrying about that boy last night because I hope his parents. And it's got a hold him after that call last night. Yes, yes. And I've got yeah. Angela on here on TikTok saying, save our pigs. It looks like the Prime Minister didn't really know what he was talking about when they were talking about slaughtering the pigs. That's correct. I've seen that on the news, Scotty. So, Do you know? Oh, yes, yeah, it's really it's awful. I can speak about a lot of things, but I've not got a lot of time. Um, no. He was speaking about, and Glenn about, all right, Firstly, the electricity company, me and John's electricity went and bust as well, yes. Right, so it's gone. We got a text state stating, don't do anything. Right. You know? That's the worry when they say, don't do anything, we'll sort it out. But I hope they uh, do. Sorry, what? I hope they do sort it out, because that's the worry when they're going, yeah, don't do anything, we'll sort it out. I go, I'm, I'm, I'm a wee bit worried because the, the man I'm waiting for this call, my, my balls are still going up. Do you know what I mean? You yes, know? absolutely, absolutely. Are they, um, you know, are they keeping you coming? I mean, have they not come back to you? Uh, they've not come back in the matter of what, two, three weeks. Is that right, John? So. And when did they say, when did they say they'd be back, David? They, 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 they just said an email, we will sort this out. We'll, right. They got, they, got, they got me a new company. They gave me the, the new company. I've got that. But they say, don't do anything, we will phone you back, you'll send a meet a reading, etc. You know? Absolutely, absolutely. Beachy Beachy and, here is saying bacon is good for me. But the uh, problem is they're not going to get the bacon because the, the poor animals are going to be incinerated before they get me anywhere near the food chain. It's a shame, and it's got, you know, and oh. Also about these dogs, and I've got a neighbour next door. One of my neighbours went into my neighbour's garden, and uh, so did my neighbour's dad came out straight to my other neighbour. Get that dog out of the garden, I'll kick it right in the face. Yes, yeah, and bad news, my that. My, my neighbour says, see if you touch my dog, I'll break your jaw. Yeah, all that starts, you know. It, it was bad in the street, Scotty, honestly, but that guy shouldn't have said to him, I'll kick a dog, because he had dogs. No. His dogs died. No, there shouldn't, there shouldn't be any of that at all, you know. There should be a bit of thinking. It's my Scotty, do you know what I mean? And also, uh, the foxes, I feed the foxes every night. And they're beautiful. I put lots of food out, do you know what I mean? Make sure they're safe. That's like 12 o'clock at night, do you know what I mean? Yes, absolutely. You're, you're, you're a very kind man, David. Well, it's just a thing you've got to do. They get the hot dogs, they get... They find a lot. I remember walking my dog late one night. Well, it wasn't my dog. It was a friend's dog, and they'd uh, left the dog with me. And she was lovely, yeah. but she but typical Glasgow. She found two pecora in a in a in a brown bag. So what had happened? Some dead officers had come out the boozer and been yeah. a wee bit munchy munchy. So they'd uh, gone in yeah. and ordered themselves a, a bag of pecora, and then the officer uh, couldn't <laughs> handle the last two. So I had chucked them away, so the dog got them. So she's off with a brown paper bag. So I'm after her going, no, 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 come here, give me that. And then she Aye. tipped them in the ground and gobbled them up. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't know, you see, and you didn't know what pecora they were. 
And of course, oh, she was yes. sleeping with me. And Picora, as you know, can make you a wee bit windy. It can, yes, indeed. Yes. You know, so that, myself, you know I mean? that's the problem. You know, I mean, if you have the vegetable Picora, you know, you're, you're going all I, night. Yeah, yeah, I love vegetable Picora. You know, I, it's, I, 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 if you have a big bag of vegetable Picora late at night, you know, then it's rat a tat tat all night. <laughs> You've just you've just got to get on with it, you know. For goodness' sake, you think shh, shh, they'll be banging on the floor upstairs. Stop all that. Yeah. <laughs> so I hope last B boys last night the last night at the yes. people's voices. Uh, phone back, Stan, if you want a chat. Absolutely. You know, and I hope he's, hope he's okay. And, and you know what, son, go to the doctor, but I know it's hard to get appointment these days. Yeah. Well, this is the problem. You're worried to go to the doctor because they're not seeing anybody because of COVID oh, and sorry. all I'm, that, I'm, you know. I'm you know, that's that that's the thing you've just got to you've just got to keep going. Yes. They they planned this well before the pandemic. No, it's it's very strange. Are they doing it in vision? Can you see the doc the way you and I can see each other? Or? What, what do you mean, Scotty? Like what? Well, I mean, you know, you're looking at me just now. So if you're having a consultation, can you see the doctor? Yeah, I get you. I understand, son, you know what I mean? That's what I was thinking, you know? Yes, yes, makes sense, Scotty, I understand. Absol you know? Absolutely, because, to you know, I told you I went into the doctor and I says, can you help us out? He says, which way did you come in? <laughs> oh, dearie me. David, lovely talking to you, and dinky do. All the best, my boy. You're a topper. There we are. That's our David. What a fine fellow. Now, lots and lots of feedback from you. This country's health care is heading towards private care, says Chris. Thank you for the good words, says Is Rossi. Is Rossi. Why is the meat being wasted, says Tom. The problem is, Tom, it's not been culled in the food chain. You see what I mean? It can't enter the food chain. So these animals are being slaughtered and destroyed uh, and they can't be eaten. And that's the problem because the farmers have invested heavily in them. And I think the problem is the politicians don't understand what's going on. Dear oh, dear oh me. And if they don't understand, what hope is the rest of them? There we are. The Doug ate the pakora. Absolutely. Is the auto correct? Not me. It's this silly phone. Oh, right. Scotty, job done and your excellent further progress from the radio days. Michael, yes, indeed. I think this is the future. The internet phone in. Now, it's early days and, uh, you know, the audiences won't be through the roof yet. But at some point, there will be a good slide towards quality chat on the internet, and that's what we're doing right now. We're live on TikTok. We've got the TikTokers watching us right now. The time's just coming up to uh, half past nine, 9.30, 9.30 on Wednesday, the 6th of October, 2021. Uh, we're live on YouTube. If you're watching us on YouTube right now, subscribe and tap the bell. If you're watching us on Twitch, then if you can go to Scotty underscore McClure, follow me on Twitch and watch the Twitch feed for me because that will help with our numbers on Twitch. If you're watching on Facebook, dinky-doo to all our Facebookers. And if you're watching on LinkedIn Live, welcome, 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 I say. There we are, fantastic. <coughs> Come back, Grant, says Suzanne. Yes, indeed, young Grant from last night. Hey, Dinky Doo says Dinky Doo. Absolutely, that's what it's all about. I've been in Stirling Castle. That's a good day out. Absolutely, Jerry. McClue has danced the night away in the Great Hall at Stirling Castle at the Argyle and Sutherland Highlanders Ball. Fantastic. Uh, so that's it. I know it's a shame the meat's been wasted, but it has to be properly 
um, killed and prepared for eating. Uh, now, what else have we got? Ha ha, says Chris on here. Brilliant. Hey, hey, how are we all getting on? Uh, good evening, Sir Scotty. What a total waste, says Tom. Tom, absolutely. But as we know, you can't just put anything into the food chain. And this is all held up because of Brexit and uh, because of all sorts of things. Our whole way of life is severely damaged. I like your beard, says Fake Fian. Thank you, Fake Fian. My wife, Kerry, loves your accent. Thank you, Tom. Hey, McClure, a shout out to Leanne. Yes, of course. Big shout out to Leanne. No problem at all. Right. Can you all do a lot of sharing? We need stacks and stacks of sharing, I say. Uh, if you want to give us a call on the phone in, strictly ubiquitous, thank you for sending me beautiful red roses. It looked like you've sent 21 red roses from Strictly Ubiquitous on the TikTok. How beautiful is that? To the telephones, guys, uh, let me know the phones are working. Give us a call because we have had challenges. We've had challenges with the phones, so give us a call. You've got the number 0141-628-9795. <clears throat> You're watching Scotty McClure. Follow us as soon as you can. Thank you, Calvin, for following there. There we are. Sir Lion has joined us. Dinky do, I say to you, everybody get following. Scotty McClure, welcome to our beautiful TikTokers, of course. I'm just checking everything's all right here. Yep, that's beautiful, that is. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hi, Scotty. I'm getting my second call. Oh, Glenn, well done, lad. Yes, indeed. <laughs> now then. I just, like, Scotty, I just think this phone is just going to progress and progress and progress. You think it's day. going big style, Glenn? It will just it's hit big just, style. It's going to hit the roof so uh, Scotty. You know, it's gonna Absolutely. Be if we can get on to other platforms as well. You see, I can actually multicast up to 30 platforms, but a lot of the platforms we don't necessarily have uh, big in this country. YouTube's the key, though, and it's got... YouTube's the big one, but we need that YouTube channel moving. That should be up around the 300,000 mark now. You'll be on Amazon and all them next, Scott. Yeah, all these wonderful, but everybody should be able to have access to Scotty McClure's internet phone in. There'll be a Blu-ray out on the DVD, Scotty, of these. We'll get all that coming. <laughs> the, the best is Scotty. And I, I love my TikTokers. They are such beautiful people, Glenn. Yeah, definitely. Do you know, I mean, apart from the odd silly wee troll that you're going to get anywhere on the yeah. internet. Scotty, you're going to get these 15 minutes of fame people, are you? You'll always get them, you know, because they, they can't get their head around it. Very, very low intelligence. These big time Charlie, big one of these, these big time Charlie's. Absolutely. This is what it's all about. But, you know, the the intelligence level on here is fantastic. Yeah, it, it outdoes the, the majority, outdoes the minority, doesn't it? Definitely. Well, this is it. This is what you need to get. You know, we need to get back to that. I think. When when you come to think how far things are progressing, we, we haven't even touched the surface yet, have we? Or on the phone in? Definitely not. No, this is brand new. No, I mean, for goodness sake, I think we've just scraped into our fifth week. Yeah. You know, I mean, there's Michael there. That's fantastic. Scotty, job done on your excellent Scotty, father progress Scotty, just, from the radio your, days. Scotty, just looking at your bonnet, though, with your badge. Yeah. Cheeky Chappie from 90s, though. That's the Cheeky Chappie from the 90s? Yeah. Are you not know, okay? I'm a little bit older. Scotty, I think you've mellowed. Well, well, you have to mellow because otherwise you'll get flung off the internet. Yeah. Do you see yeah, the I'm difference? Not, Scotty, they can't handle you, are you? Are you, you know, you'd get flung off the internet, they'd just shut you down. They couldn't handle you, though, could they? No, this is, this is, this is your problem. Do you see what I mean? I mean, obviously, I've got to just soft pedal a bit. You cool it down a bit, like. Yeah, that's right. You see, you've got to remember the radio station owned their own station, and yeah. we knew exactly how far we could take everything. When you did that back in nineties, oh my god, I couldn't, I couldn't help but scream, those guys. Well, of course. I mean, it was huge, you know, and yeah, it was yeah, tremendous. Yeah, totally and I mean, we got stuck right into Yorkshire. 
Yeah, like New York, everybody, everybody shows where you went. Do you remember they used to come on, they used to go, I said, you should get yourself a life, lovey. And they would say to me, that should get life. That should get life. <laughs> <laughs> you made that day, you made that night, though. Well, we had great fun because we didn't pull any punches and people love yeah. all that. You okay. know, there was a lass came with a, with, a, with a van, a lunch wagon once, and she wouldn't serve me. Yeah. She said, are you him off radio? No, I'm not serving you. <laughs> McLeod. Yeah, that was that it. McLeod. I, I says, mean, well, give us a bacon, butty love. No! <laughs> <laughs> do you think you should have to model it, though, to be honest? Do you think, do you think, it's, do you think it's one of them where they've gone a bit snobbery, to be honest? No, no it's not snobbery. It's just that nowadays, you know, they actually come on to every scene. You can't see we should have stepped yeah, in and said, no, 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 no. We can say what we like. Yeah, that's what I'm, I think it's a bit sugar soap tonight. You know, people go, oh, hey, 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 you can't say that. It's a bit soft soap tonight. Whereas what they used to say to me is, you can't say that. I said, I've just said it. What are you going to do about it? Yeah, what are you going to do about it? Who are not, you? Not in, a, Scotty, not in an aggressive manner, but an intelligent, subtle manner. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. But, I mean, as I say, now they've gone to that. So, eventually, they're going to have to go the other way and say, no, you can say how you want. There's that many people when you, when you say something and they don't agree with it. Answer, they answer you in an intelligent way, you know, in an intelligent response to your answer. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That, that's, that, that's how you have a decent conversation with somebody, isn't it? You, that's how you do it. That's how you do it. Instead of ranting and raving with somebody all the time, you'll see it from the, perhaps you might see it from your perspective. Absolutely. Absolutely. We did it. We never ranted and raved, but we used to tell it like it is, you know. Some, Like I said, some people just don't like it, do they? But... Hey, here's John yeah. Boy on here, Glenn, right? John Boy and David, enjoying your excellent broadcast. We'll buy you a couple of pies the morrow. Scotty, I was married for seven years and divorced. I felt sad. I said to my doctor, is it the seven-year itch? She went, no, that's psoriasis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bill, Scotty, brilliant stuff. And listen, I here's John Boy. Scotty, just a wee message to say I'm watching on Twitch. Share yeah. and share wide. I say lots of love, tell me and David. Isn't that fantastic? Tell 10 to tell 10, on not Tell 10 to tell 10. Once word gets out, they'll flock. Yeah. Trust me. Scott, did you like a mature wine anyway? Yeah, I get I, I get better with age. Yeah, definitely. You were good even back. You were better. You were you better now. Yeah, you, you were you better all round either way. Even, I think you know. it's a better all round listen for everyone. I think yeah, this phone in. in's just waiting for its audience to come and join you've us. You've always kept you've always kept that consistency no matter what yeah. platform you've been on. To be honest. Yeah, well, you know it's Scotty McClure, don't you? You, you, you've always, you, you don't, like I said, you don't hold the ears and graces, do you? You, you say how it is. Well, we have to. I mean, you haven't time for ears and graces on here, Glenn Lott. <laughs> there's no point, is there, Scott? You know, there's no it. point, because listen, if you start any of that, the, the, the people find you out anyway. If you try to be something you're not. Yeah. And you camera know. doesn't lie, so you can have a right good look at it. Camera will tell you. You know, the camera don't lie, does it? Camera don't lie and figures don't lie. Somebody said, lie. I can't imagine anyone listening to your show. I said, right, let's look at the figures. There you go. Quarter of a million every half hour. How's that? Uh, oh, ooh, I can't. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know how that's happened. I said, I do. Oh, sugar, sugar. Stop, stop, Scotty. We give the people the what they want. It's just flannel in it, that's all it is. Just flannel, now. that's what these people are at. They're flanneling they just, you. They just, they want to be in your shows, don't they? That's what happens. They want to swing on your coattails. You, Scotty, you've got a lot of fans out there. I am one of them. Well, you're an absolute top man, and I thank you. you. And I say you to you, dinky-doo. Dinky-doo, Scotty, you're not a good in anyway. And you, la, top man, top man, our Glenn. There we are, excellent. Jay. He gets a second call because you do get two calls per night. Now we've got 20 minutes left, guys. The time is flying. Get to your telephones. Let's hear what you're all saying on here. Ah, yes. Um, 
Pakora, we've done that one with the dog. Got a joke for you, Scotty. Two men in a field, and one says to the other, is it just me, or can you, sorry, two snowmen in a field, and one says to other, is it just me, or can you smell carrots? I do love that. Bitchy, bitchy. It's a dark day for democracy. So there we are. Yes. Two bills passed by Scottish Parliament are outside Holyrood's competence. Very interesting. Scotty, just a wee message to say I'm watching on Twitch. Fantastic. Wonderful stuff. This is what it's all about. Who have we got here? Fantastic. And there's John Boy and Michael. Thank you very much. Dinky Doo McClue, do you remember me? Westworld. Why do you always ask that? How could I ever forget you? Why do you say, do you remember me? Do you think for one moment that you're less important than anybody else? Ah, uh, good laugh. Thank you, Beachy Beachy. Gordon Robertson. Hello, Scotty and everyone. Hello, Gordon. Lovely to have you with us. And a big dinky do, I say to Scotty McClue, to the internet phone in. Do you like the title, Gordon? Because you're very good as a grammarian. I think you told me one day you were better as a vulgarian, but that's it. Scotty McClue, how are you, sir? Dinky do. Scotty has his register. Tick here. Absolutely. You've changed so much, it's unreal, says beautiful Logan. Do you mean I've aged or I've got younger? Or, or what? What? How have we changed, beautiful Logan? Mr. McClure, I must know. Does left or right carry the same meaning in the UK as in the US? Kirby the Annihilator, yes, it does. We've got the left and the right. You've got the Republicans and the Democrats. We've got the left and the right. The problem we've got at the moment, the left have completely lost their way. And uh, nobody's interested in them. You see? And uh, it's all right, 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 right at the moment. So you need a strong left. You don't look a day over 50, Scotty says, La Hoop. Bless you. More beautiful, obviously, says beautiful Logan. I thank you. What bills have been passed? Not sure, Kalelio. And a guy today telling me that it was uh, the international court that would decide about the Queen and independence. It wouldn't unless it goes to the United Nations. So there we are. Right, what about this? The boss is in the house. I popped up tonight because there's drama on, there's all sorts of things on, but I know that people will always come and join Scotty McClue and we will chit-chat. That's what we do. Not heard the flow tie. Flow tie, hashtag flow tie, is first lord of the internet. That's my official title. Absolutely dinky do. Kevin says there's two parrots sitting on a perch. One parrot says to the other, can you smell fish? Get it? Get it? I did a wee joke this afternoon, and uh, uh, the last time I looked, 1,500 people had had a look at it. <laughs> Scapa Flow in Texas is consulting. First Lord is correct. My dear Scott, absolutely. Chris Guitar. So lovely to have you with us. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Can you believe we've been up for nearly 45 minutes? My goodness me. I'd be afraid to ring you. Honestly, you'd floor me with corrections. Beautiful Logan. Never, ever, 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 ever be afraid to phone Scotty McClue. Right? Always, everybody should be able to phone Scotty McClue. I'm hoping the Americans will phone me as well. I know it involves an international charge, but I would like the Americans to phone me. And guys, have you ever got onto this one? This is old now. I'll have to keep changing it. We've got 1,800 videos. There we are, 1676. Let's keep changing this. I don't know if you'll be able to see this. Right. This is the YouTube channel. All right. You search Scotty McClure YouTube channel. And there's 1,800 videos for your enjoyment, edification, excitement, education, and delight. A great day in for all the family. Subscribe, watch, share, dinky, do. Has everybody got that one? Dinky, do. 
Joke, says George, 10 cows standing in the field. Which one's closest to Iraq? And it's Kuwait. Kuwait. Uh, did you say egg and bacon or bacon and egg? I say uh, bacon and egg. Time flies with me, Scotty McClure. Chris, it doesn't have tempest fugit to use the proper Latin. If you've just joined us in TikTok, a very warm welcome. If you look at my TikTok bio, just below it is the live link to YouTube. Click on that, subscribe, tap the bell and watch the phone in. Why do you always play? Always play because people like to hear me play. Tempest what? Fugit. Tempest, time flies, T-E-M-P-U-S, Tempus, that's it. Fugit, F-U-G-I-T, Latin, Tempus Fugit. Cheers, Gary, thank you, do, absolutely. What kind of bees produce milk, says Dave? Boobies. Thank you very much. There we are. We are a good, clean family show with a bit of smut flung in. There we are. Do you like Still Game? Well, they say I was the original inspiration for Still Game. Get a clue from Scotty McClue. Keep scribbling the number out. Reprint. Stop scrimping. Yeah, you're right. I'm going to put the number and the YouTube stuff, right? I'm going to type it in for you. So there we are. So YouTube, for those of you not on it, www. YouTube, YouTube.com. So that's www.youtube.com forward slash user forward slash Scotty McClue one. Now, guys, this YouTube channel, get it out there and get subscribing. Right? Don't hang about going, oh, yes, I'll have a look at that because you won't. You know, you, you've got too many other things. Now, what I've done, I've put it up, and it's a live hyperlink. So see what it says, Restream.io, www.youtube.com forward slash user forward slash Scotty McClue 1. Does that work for you as a hyperlink? You'll see it on the chat there, guys, right, just from Scotty McClue. And I'll give you a dinky-doo as well. Because I think it's good manners. And we like good manners. Dinky do. So give Scotty McClure a phone if you think, oh, no, I couldn't phone Amy Might say, Right, check that hyperlink. So there we go. I think you won't forget that. Jam or cream in your scones. Uh, yes, the jam goes on first and then the cream on the top. Uh, there we are. What did the left leg say to the right leg? Go on, choppies boy. What did the left leg say to the right leg? There are views on George Floyd's statue being vandalized today. He wasn't a hero, though. Yeah, but I mean, you know, the, 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 the guy, I know he was a criminal, but he did get, uh, you know, knelt on in his neck and killed. Uh, so, you know, he's he's he's... You're saying he wasn't a hero. He was a hero to certain people. There we are. What's your score prediction for the game on Saturday? Well, Rob, if I give you the results of the game on Saturday, then I'm not going to be popular with the television companies, am I? It works for me, Scotty. It works for me. The goodbye song of the night, if there's time, Scotty. Yes, beachy, beachy. Dinky do. Can everybody try the YouTube, please? Yes, the hyperlink works, says Gordon. And Gordon, I suspect you'll have subscribed and tapped the bell before anyway, and then you'll get your notifications. Everybody check the YouTube channel, subscribed and tap the bell. It's in the chat. I've put a hyperlink in the chat, guys. So you should be able to get that. And the Twitch is at Scotty underscore McClue. I'll put that up for you as well. Right, there's Twitch. And it says Scotty. And it's underscore. Now, this is not a hyperlink, but that should let you on as well. Scotty underscore McClue. Has it done that way to we see now? E. E, right. By gum. By gum, Yorkshire, like, you know. Because, you see, if you think about it, 
Everybody in the planet should by now know Scotty McClue. So there we are, Scotty underscore McClue at the Twitch, if you're a Twitcher. Uh, so there you go. What's the score prediction? Well, as I say, I wouldn't like to do that. Thank you, do, Scotty. I subscribe. Kishin, thank you very much. Hello, Scotty. I've got it, says Stacey. Excellent. Scotland, says McCastle. Hello, my friend from Maryland, says Leslie. We love you in Maryland. What is Chicken Maryland? Would you like to tell me? Scott, am I away this weekend to Carlisle? I just love the place. Bye, heck. I've tapped the bell ages ago, but I've got almost all notifications turned off on my devices. Exceptions are WhatsApp and tips. I know what you mean, God, and see if you can get that one, though, because um, I get upset when you think, ah, oh, I forgot you were on. You know, that sort of idea. We've got so much. Thank you to Scotty McClure. I've subscribed to your YouTube. I thank you. M-A-G-A. -A, thank you, Louisa. Louisa, have you subscribed to Scotty McClure's YouTube? You should see the hyperlink in front of you on TikTok just below my bio. I know what you mean, Gordon. You can get too many notifications, but I would think Scotty McClure is an exception, and we should always be able to get it. Who's the handsome fellow behind you, Scotty? That, Corey is Lord Reith the Labrador. There he is. Isn't he beautiful? What a handsome guy. And uh, I'm with him, of course. Scotty, will Scotland declare war on England? It's important. No. Scotland would never, ever, ever declare war in England for the simple reason.